Hey Daps and Dolphins, today we're going to make a piece of abstract art inspired by Piet Mondrian. We said that abstract art isn't supposed to really look like anything, it's just about the elements of art, like line and color. And Mr. Mondrian's type of abstract art he made was called neoplasticism, and that in particular focused on vertical and horizontal lines, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and white backgrounds or gray backgrounds. So today we're going to use Google Drawing in order to create a piece of digital artwork. Now the first thing we do is we come up here to the title where it says Untitled Drawing, click on it, and then rename it with your first name, your room number, and the artist's last name. In this case, it's Mondrian. And then you can click off of it and it saves it like that into your Google Drive. We are making squares and rectangles, so we're going to use this shape right here, the shape tool. It looks like a circle and a square. And when we click on that, you hover down on shapes, choose the first one, the rectangle, and then you're gonna come over here to the corner, you click and drag your first shape. Now remember, we said that Mr. Mondrian really thought about composition, where he placed things. So don't just make uh, squares and rectangles anywhere. Think about it before you do it. This one now isn't the right color. So we're gonna come right up here to where it says fill color and either choose red, yellow, or blue. Uh, I'll make this one red. And then right now, we don't really have any vertical or horizontal lines. How we're going to achieve that look is to put a border on every shape. So right here, if you look at this, this says border color and it's already black. So we're gonna leave it black. And then right here, this is border weight. When I click on border weight, I'm going to choose eight pixels. When I do that, it creates this nice black thick line. So after I put that shape on and I have the border on it, I can click off of it to get rid of these blue handles and go for the next shape. I'm going to then hover again, choose the rectangle, click and drag. I have to change the color again. I'm going to make this one white. It will look like a background one. Change my border weight to eight. And then click off of it. Click back on the shapes. Click and drag. This one's gonna be a long one, I think. I think this one will also be a background color. Change my border weight. Then I'm, whoops, click off of it. Get my shape again. Click. Now I still need a few other colors. I need a yellow one. Don't forget that border. Uh, the next one I think I'm going to make another background color. I'll make it white again. So I'm making sure that all my squares touch. And if I do that, it makes it look like it's a line instead of just a border. Next one I'm going to make will be blue. So you can make your shapes bigger than mine. They can be smaller than mine. It's really up to you. This one, I forgot to change the color. There we go. And then I'm gonna make one more white one. So if you line them up nicely, it's going to look like those are vertical, up and down, and horizontal, side to side. Whoops. Change that one. Oh, it's already white, good. Now if you look here, some of these shapes are going off the page. If I click on them and drag them in, a red line's going to pop up. When that red line pops up, that means you're at the edge of the paper. I'm going to do that a few times. And then it's all set. So right now, I don't have to do anything to save this because I'm in Google. It's automatically uh, saving right here into my Google Drive. And then you can turn it into Google Classroom uh, by uploading it from your drive. Hope you had fun.